For recent projects, I had to give some clones exact rotations in Houdini. So in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So before we get started, let's quickly go over how we can set rotations in Houdini. One way is to give an up direction and then a normal direction, either in the Z or the X axis. I'll go through this in more detail below. But the most important one to understand is quaternions and it's a bit more complicated. So quaternions have an axis and an angle. The axis is the line you can see here. So this is the direction the object is pointing in and you can set it in any direction you want and it works kind of like a normal. And the angle is the circle you can see. So it rotates around an axis. So you have your axis first here and then with the angle, you can create further rotations. So that's how quaternions work. Now you understand that, let's continue with the tutorial. So let's jump in Houdini and let's start with the N and up first. So let's just call this copies and dump in, create a grid just so we have some points. Then let's create a box just so we have some geometry. For the box, I wanna create something that basically you can see which direction it rotates in. So now, because we have a bit of a wider Z axis, a bit of a smaller X, like you see what the box does basically on the copies. So let's align this to the floor. So we have it nice sitting on the floor. And now if we copy this to points, let's pipe these two up. You can see it's not doing what we want. These ones are like sinking through the floor. They're kind of like pointing in the Z axis and that's clearly not what we want. We want everything to sit up. So let's fix that first. So let's create an attribute create. In the attribute create, we first set the up vector and I want to set it to one in the Y axis. So basically all these boxes will point up. That, that's kind of like the idea of it. And set it to a size three because it's a vector. And now you can see we get something. Let's just copy paste this, change the name to N for the normal direction. And then let's set this to the Z which is the default. And now what you can see, we have the exact same copies again. But basically what we can do is if we now play with the normal direction, so we can have them either pointing in the X direction or the Z, the Y we want to leave as it is, because if we change that, you know, these boxes start tilting and that's not what we want with this tutorial. So what you can do is instead of an attribute create for the normal, you can say an attribute randomize and Basically what you want to do is you want to have two values. So you either want to have a zero on the X or a one, or you want a one or a zero on the Z axis. So what you can see now is we have all these nice exact like random rotations, which is kind of like a look that is quite often used in these isometric kind of views. So therefore I thought it would be useful for this tutorial. Um, so this is one option how you can do it. The thing is, if you want a bit more of control, this gets a bit more tricky. You can do it with like maybe a ramp and then you can set like certain rotations, but it's it's just not as good as using quaternions. So let's do this whole setup. Let's copy paste this and let's try and build this up with a quaternion. So what we're doing here is we can get rid of up, we can get rid of N and what we do is we set orient. So let's start building our quaternion with the normal and then make an extra value called angle. And then we do it that way. So let's do an attribute create. And we want all these copy to point up. So we have the normal direction. And if I show you the normal, so all these points are pointing up. That's exactly what we want. And then we kind of want to rotate the copies around these points. So that's the second slider we're going to create, which is the angle. Whoops attribute create and this one let's leave it for now and then let's get our box back i deleted that for some reason let's copy paste align all right and this value we call angle so in order to orient these copies we need to define an attribute orient which i think is the easiest just with a point rank so the code is as follows it's just you define the attribute orient and you say it's a quick because we're using quaternions for this and what it takes is an angle and then an axis. So the axis is where it points to, which is kind of like our normals, and the angle is how much is rotated. So first, let's go back and just say our vector axis is V at one. So our normal attribute. And then what we can say is our angle we already have. So we can just say it's at 
angle and let's see what we get now and now if we start now if we start twisting this you can see it rotates an issue we have is that i think for angle it's nicer to use degrees and currently it's rotated in radians so what we can do is we could say at angle is radians at angle and now it should rotate in degrees so let's test this and now you can see we get nice degrees when we hit 360 it's rotated like one time around so instead of like defining this attribute angle let's randomize it so attribute randomize and what we could do here is pipe it in call it angle set it to one dimension because it's a float and set it to a custom ram we want to fit value 0 to 0 degrees and value 1 to 360 so it's a full rotation and what you can see now they're twisting like nicely around their own axis. and let's disable the normals for now but then what we want to do is we want to build it up like step based so we could just use the steps presets for this in the drop down menu and we want to tweak this a bit so instead of at value 323 we want it at 25 and we want the value of 25 then here we want the value of 0 0.5 at 0 0.5 and then here same thing dot 0 0.5 we want that so now what you see is we get these really nice exact rotations and you can tweak this so what we could say as well is we can change some of these values if you want a few to like stand out or have a more like randomized like a diagonal angle then it's quite easy to do with quaternions so that's it in a nutshell just how you can do these exact rotations on a grid with quaternion and with normals and up factors so that's it for this week's video if you like it please hit like and leave a comment down if there's any question left and i'll see you in the next one